We finally got a Robocop game and him being my favorite hero I was very pleased with how the developers actually handled everything about the game. The game is magnificent in terms of graphics and effects with a fantastic slow paced gameplay that is easy even for newbies. You literally are in no hurry and taking down the bad guys is really really easy as your gun is overpowered, has infinite ammo and you're a tank that can take several hits, heal yourself and blast off people's legs, smash them on the wall or against each other. Hi guys, it's Mr. Kane Play, and today I'll be showing you the best setting to enjoy Robocop Rogue City on a low spec computer. Now, Robocop is not only a powerhouse, but the game itself is, and it's meant to test your hardware with a minimum requirement set at 16 GB RAM and a 4 GB VRAM GTX 1650 or RX 480. Now, this is not the only hardware for us low spec gamers. The game comes with stuttering and FPS drops even when your PC meets the recommended requirements. But this issue is easily fixable by deleting the Robocop folder in app data local which restarts the game and this time round you can play at better frame rates with no lagging or stuttering. Now the game settings come with a variety of options depending on your hardware, how you prefer your visuals and how many FPS you'd actually like to play the game at. Now you can use a variety of settings to get your desired frame rate from AMD FSR to TAA and Intel XS and each of these gives minute differences that might improve your gameplay experience now like the texture quality, reflections, shadows look good in Intel XS with so much detail. The MDFSR on the other hand sacrifices reflection and texture as compared with the others to give more frame rates. The TSR option comes with more lighting and less reflection making the game look good but at a low performance with the maximum FPS being 17. TAA on the other hand has less lighting but same reflection and texture as the Intel XS. Now when using epic settings in my opinion, the best is TAA and Intel XS as it gives you the best visuals, anti-aliasing, texture, shadows, reflection and post-processing. MDFSR makes the ground look somewhat weird, grainy and watery and it also takes time to load the images or perhaps I just have poor hardware. Now the maximum you can get in these settings is 20 frames per second which is very playable. Now what happens when you set all these settings to low? Well the TAA maintains the lighting but removes shadows, lowers textures and reflection giving good visuals and maximum of 30 fps in a crowded area. Now Intel XS maintains almost the same quality with a few changes like texture and lighting at 30 fps. Now AMD FSR 2.2 gives us what other settings count and that is good graphics, poor reflection and shadows at a higher frame rate of at least 45. Now there's a vast difference among these settings from shadows, reflections, lighting and even draw distance. In terms of performance, I recommend using low settings and AMD FSR at ultra performance as this is the best to get more FPS while sacrificing image quality. It also comes at a cost of poor game recording. Your videos will have a lot of stuttering which fortunately you won't experience in the gameplay. Now if these changes in the settings aren't enough to get you enough frame rates for smooth gameplay then access the game settings files in Robocop folder in app data. Now change all these settings above here to 0 and resolution maybe to 50 or lower depending on how bad you want the texture quality to be and how many frame rates you want to achieve. And maybe you can lower the resolution scale to 600 by 800 if you don't mind playing on a small window which you can expand with borderless gaming. Now save the file and restart the game. Now let's look at some of the differences in gameplay. As I said previously, due to the forced loading of settings, all my recordings keep on stuttering. But the gameplay is actually smooth and can now get up to 60 frames per second if you have a 2GB VRAM GPU and up to 30 frames per second when using an integrated graphics provided you have a 16GB RAM, especially on integrated graphics as this will give you more VRAM. Now if you have any questions on how to increase the performance and stop stuttering or lagging, feel free to ask in the comments. Videos release every day and please subscribe to my channel. Evacuate.